what human security does, it provides us with a universally applicable tool uh, to ensure that our policies and our solutions and our actions as parliamentarians are actually effective in actually delivering for individuals, uh, for communities, and for our country uh, as a whole. And that's what it's about. It's a way of thinking that prioritizes the well-being uh, of individuals and people putting people first. I think it reflects very well uh, in terms of the Sustainable Development Goals, which is about uh, leaving no one uh, behind. And I suppose in an abstract way, you, you could consider human security a bit like imagining a puzzle. There are many different pieces to that puzzle uh, and there are different ways that that puzzle can be put together. And you have to work with those different formats to actually solve the problem and maybe solve multiple problems for multiple communities uh, at the one time. And I think it's a way of helping to address complex challenges, you know, not just dealing with one problem, but the implications of that problem for other communities and for other individuals, be it personal safety, be it employment and jobs, or even basic human dignity like sanitation. And I think that's what it does. It allows us to develop more equitable solutions that cover multiple aspects and problems and challenges and look at it in a multi-dimensional uh, element rather than purely uh, a one track, one silo approach, which we see in a lot of government departments where it's very much they solve their individual problem and not look at the implications in other government departments or the implications for other communities. 